Today, I'm going to show you how to register for courses at the section level in College Scheduler. First, log into your MyCCRI account and click MyCCRI. It will prompt you to put in your username and password and then bring you into your MyCCRI account. Click the Registration tab and click Create your class schedule. Select the term that you'd like to register for and click Save and Continue. Then select the session. So the session is the start date and click Save and Continue. When you see this page, click Add a Course, and here you'll be able to select a course by subject and course number, or by instructor, or by the CRN number if you already have that information. You can select just one class, or you can select multiple classes. Click Add a Course once you've selected one, and they will appear on the side, and click Done when you're ready. Next, click the Sections button next to the course. Here you'll see a list of all the sections for English 1010. Anything that says Co-Requisite or ALP has a connected 1005 course for college writing. You can deselect all of the options up here and select just the course that fits with your meeting times. Make sure you write down the meeting times for the course that you are selecting so you can refer to it later. Scroll down when you've selected the section that you want and click Save and Close. Next, you can generate your schedule. And you can see that only one schedule will be available based on the section number that you've chosen. Click View. And you can see just that English course with the same meeting times that we were looking at earlier. You can also favorite a schedule by clicking up here. You can email the schedule to yourself or an advisor or your boss, anyone you'd like, uh, to get a second opinion or to save it in your email. And you can also print your schedule if you'd like. When you're ready, click Send to Shopping Cart. And then you'll be brought to your shopping cart. So here you can either edit your cart and remove this class, or you can click Register. When you register, you can get one of two registration results. A little green check mark means you've been successfully registered for a course. And a little red triangle means that you haven't. If you get a red triangle, you should reach out to your advisor to figure out why you haven't been allowed into that class. When you click OK, you'll see your current schedule and the classes that you are enrolled in. I added this site class to show you what it looks like when you are enrolled compared to not enrolled. And if this class doesn't work for you, you can edit or drop it as well by clicking your registration status and changing it to WebDrop. Thank you and have a great semester.